Hello. Uh, welcome to a few uh, tutorial sessions on the use of uh, Spring MVC to create REST services. We are, are going to use uh, fairly standard Eclipse uh, interfaces, uh, with uh, especially using uh, Spring Source Tool Suite. And uh, I'm going to follow along this structure, which, I've, uh, uh, which I'll make available in this document. In the first one, we're just going to create a pretty bare-bones Spring MVC project and uh, demonstrate that it just uh, that it works. So uh, I imagine that you have a, a pretty plain vanilla uh, instance of of uh, Spring Tool Suite, which is Eclipse, and uh, it has some nice features built into it. Basically, all you need to work with the Spring Framework and Spring MVC. So uh, I, I'm going to create a uh, a new project from a Spring template project. And we'll see that Spring MVC is one of the options available to us. Go into this, and uh, we're going to have the opportunity to give it a name and, uh, and a package name. We want to give it a, uh, an interesting and meaningful uh, name, so I'm going to call it you know, like UX REST API. Uh, a decent sounding package name. That's all we have at this point. Um, the, the template project will have quite a bit of useful information in it that that we'll be able to uh, run as is. I want to point to really just three distinct files here that we modify. The first is the pod. And what this means is that uh, by default, we get a Maven managed project in which uh, dependencies are managed by Maven. And we'll be adding something here. But first, let's take a look at the two other two files. Uh, under our job source, we have a, uh, a controller uh, of the, uh, the MVC uh, implementation. And we'll have a view, uh, a default view, which uh, if we drill down to the, uh, to the web app, see it's under the list of views. And uh, nothing very interesting here. Uh, let me give it something. This is something uh, more pertinent to what it is that we're doing. And uh, just to show that we can make these changes and have them applied easily, uh, let's change by default this, uh, this template comes with server time. So I'll, to make it sound more uh, feasible, we'll uh, refer to it as the request time. Um, instead of home controller, I actually would like to give it once more a more meaningful name. So uh, I, I'm going to rename it under the refactor menu and call it something like uh, uh, that's And I should be able to uh, refactor. Let's see what's on my list of uh, steps to do next. And the package name, uh, project and package name. We saw the three files. We're going to refactor rename. We customize the JSP. And OK, now we, uh, we get to the fun part. We're going to uh, actually run this as a, uh, as a Spring MVC application. So uh, because this is, by default, a Maven managed uh, uh, project, I will see under the Run As menu uh, a few uh, Maven options. If you're not familiar with Maven, it's uh, not only a uh, a dependency management tool, but a run tool also, uh, a lot like Ant. So I'm going to do a, a clean. That's uh, by running this code. Uh, so that I any left over. I'll do a clean and a run as install, a Maven install. The install doesn't actually uh, install anything right now, but it's going to uh, install the uh, the uh, the Java uh, application package to the uh, to the web server or make it available to the web server. We do that, and then I should be able to run it as a web app. And, and notice that I haven't really changed anything except to, uh, to take a look at these three files. And I'll go into what they mean uh, very shortly, but I want to be able to convince myself that it runs. So run on a server, a, 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 that we have an application server available to us. I'm going to drag this down and show you that this is the run on uh, a server. Dialog. I happen to have a uh, the default 
uh, uh, STS uh, web server, which is a, a Tomcat instance available to me. Uh, let's hit next. Let's show that we have our application, the one we just created. Uh, finish, and it should actually go through its paces, and uh, assuming we didn't do anything wrong, it should run our uh, JSP page. And there we are. So uh, there, there's, uh, there's something to this, and really what we've shown is that we are able to run a Spring MVC HTTP application. I'm going to copy this this URL into uh, into my standalone web browser. That way, I have a few more uh, options, especially debugging options, and we'll see it's the same thing that was happening over here. At least I should see it. Yeah, there it is, and we'll see. There's some logging information. I'm just going to go back and uh, dissect this a little bit. And uh, we'll see that we set up a logger. Let's look at the whole application. Uh, there's some locale stuff. There's some logging stuff. And uh, there's some interesting things called uh, uh, web.bind.annotations, which we'll, uh, we'll take a look at. But you'll see as, as, a, as a REST controller or as a Spring MVC controller, it's pretty straightforward. We see the at controller annotation, and that's interesting. What that means is that uh, these annotations are telling the framework, which happens to be Spring Framework, and the Spring MVC specifically, uh, a module on top of uh, Spring Framework, that we'll be treating this as an MVC, which means that it knows how to do um, We injected the uh, available, the logger, we didn't inject it, sorry. Uh, we have a request. Uh, annotation that says that this is going to be available from the root of the application, the slash. If we give it some uh, some other uh, mapping, it would be a different URL. Uh, we access it through uh, through a get HTTP method, and uh, then we instantiate a date, and uh, we, we uh, return home, which is uh, really the view associated with this. Home, and there's a, uh, a convention that says that uh, we will uh, actually, this has been configured so that <coughs> the JSP associated with the return value is the one that the view that will be executed, and that you'll see is the view that was, was changed. I don't really want to go into too much more detail at this time, but uh, uh, let's recap. What it is that we accomplished is, if I look at my list of things I wanted to do, I wanted to start with STS, create a Spring uh, MVC template project, uh, see a few of the moving parts, See that we have an impact of changing them, then we can use Maven to uh, to install and run this on an application. That's uh, all for uh, for right now, and uh, we will uh, continue this in in the next session. Thank you.